How to use Dropbox to share files and folders. Dropbox shared folder tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Dropbox, what it essentially is, what kind of cloud storage can you get, plus how you can share files on Dropbox, have a shared folder, and work simultaneously and collaborate with your team members, colleagues, or friends. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we will be discussing is pricing because in Dropbox, you have a free plan that you can get started with. However, you also have multiple different personal use and professional plans available. Starting at only $9.99 per month, you have the one user plan, which allows you to get access to two terabytes of storage. And you also have large file delivery of up to two gigabytes. Plus you have 30 days to restore your deleted files as well. Then you have the essentials plan starting at $18 per month where you can add three terabytes of storage. Then you have the nine terabyte of storage for team plans. Basically it's primarily meant for teams. So if you're working as a team, you're going to get a 10 terabyte total storage and when you get nine terabytes it's going to be split in between three users so every user will have their own three terabytes of storage and collaboratively you would be getting nine terabytes then you also have the business plus which is the same concept with 15 terabytes of storage and it is 26 dollars per user per month now let's get started with signing up on Dropbox. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to dropbox.com and click on get started now. Once you click on get started now, you can choose the plan that you want. So if you just need storage, you can go into their only storage plans where you don't have to pay for any of the other features. You obviously have the free plan, which is the basic plan. If you scroll down, you can just click on get basic over here and you get two gigabytes of free storage. Now. After that, you can proceed with your email address or you can sign up with Google or Apple. I'm just going to sign up with Google over here. And once you continue on, you're just going to accept some of the basic info. And once you continue on, this is going to be your Dropbox section. So this is your Dropbox dashboard where you can take a look at all of your files. Now, I am going to cancel Dropbox and... I'm going to be using only Dropbox as a individual. So I'm just going to continue on over here and continue to our free account. Now, this is our free account and this is our basic dashboard. Now, in your dashboard, you can get started with building your folder. So you can click on create over here and click on folder. Now, for each folder, you will find different segregations as well. So you have file request signature shared. Now you're going to go into shared and once you go into shared, you're going to be able to access all of the files that are currently being shared. So files that you might not be the owner of. Now you might be wondering, hey, how can I have a file that I'm not the owner of? So that might be a folder that someone else has created and given you access to. So let's say I click on create folder over here and let's say this is going to be my assignments folder so you guys can see this is our new folder and whenever you're creating a new folder you're gonna have the option of set up this folder to automatically handle tasks like organizing the content now whenever you create a folder you will have three different options folder shared folder or automated folder now if you already have created a folder like this you can always share it later on as well so if i click on this folder over here and I can start uploading my documents. So let's say I have a Word doc. So I can upload my Word doc. Or let's say I just want to upload my file from my computer. Let's say we have something on our desktop like this. Let's say this image is what we're uploading into our folder. And you can add your documents as well. You can add multiple different types of things. But let's say we've added this. Now I've created this folder and I had to make this a shared folder. Well, you can easily share it later on as well. So for that, you can just hover over your particular folder that you want to share. Then on the right side, you have the share icon over here. So you're going to click on this icon and then you have your settings. So first off, you can make someone a guest where they can only view the contents of the folder. 
but they would not be able to edit or download any of these things that are present. So this can be great if you're working with outsider teams where you're only supposed to display some of the work for them so they can, you know, just review it and then give you feedback without having any permissions to be able to edit the contents of your creations. Now, other than that, you also have editing features. So if someone is supposed to be a, you know, if you're working in a team or a group and a colleague is supposed to edit documents after you do them, then you're supposed to add them as an editor. So you're going to click on can edit. Then on the right side, you have settings. So you have folder settings where you can add folder members and folder owners as well. So only the owner can add people or if members that you people that you add that can edit should be able to add more members. So let's say only I can add other editors or other people into this folder. And then let's say if I want to show who's viewing the files in this folder to people who can edit. So let's say I want to do that. Then you have the next option, which is link for editing. So you can also create a specific link for editing. So people with that link can edit the folder. However, people without that link would not have any access to edit the folder. So let's say you have a classroom and you're building a classroom folder. If you're the teacher and you're keeping the folder settings to only you, and you might have a class representative that should be able to, or you have a teacher's assistant that you need to make sure has access to be able to edit the folder and to be able to you know, edit the files, then you can create a link for that particular person and you can add that particular person. So you can also require a password as well as add a expiry date. So let's say only people invited with that link can get access or anyone with the link can get access. So let's say I want to add anyone with the link should be able to edit. And then I have my link for viewing. So people that are not members, but can view the particular item. So I'm going to click on save over here and we are just updating our folder settings like so. Now, after that, you can copy this link and start sharing it on your own via your own messages or channels, or you can add email addresses. So let's say I have one email of my students and this is their email and I just want to share it with them. So they would directly get a note or a invitation in their mail that a folder on OneDrive or a folder on Dropbox has been shared with them. Now, what this person can do is that they can open this up and start editing it if they have editing permissions and you can create multiple different types of shared folders files links and signature requests and documents with your dropbox account so this is one amazing feature of using dropbox it's simple and effective and you can get all of your basic needs fulfilled with their cloud storage now i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, queries, or anything that you would like for us to know, if I skipped anything out, if you have anything other than this to add, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say, and I will catch you guys in the next video.